so you want to learn how to motivate youth. With so much distractions from social media and easy access to mobile phones, it can be difficult. In this video you will learn simple and easy ways to help motivate youth to reach their potential. Let us start by looking at how kids think. When kids are young, they crave connection and approval from their parents. So the first tip is to spend quality time with your kids from a very young age. This will strengthen the connection and bond they have with you, and in return they will seek your approval and listen to what you tell them. This is the time to instill in them life skills. So from birth to about seven or eight years old, that's considered the programming stage. So from that point on, they program the subconscious mind. So majority of the time, you operate under the subconscious mind, and that part is automatic. The part that you control is your conscious mind. Whether you're awake, you're actively doing things. So throughout the day, you switch from subconscious mind to conscious mind. So programming your kids when they're young, at that early stage from birth to seven or eight years old is very critical to program the subconscious mind and that's automatic. Um, so the good news is if you ever wanna change that subconscious programming, you do it through repetition over time. So if you wanna, if you ever wanna try to figure out what your subconscious programming is, just think about all the things that you struggle with. So that could be things like drugs, alcohol, maybe struggling to lose weight, different things like that, give you an idea of how you're programmed subconsciously. So if you wanna change those things, what you do is through repetition, you can reprogram that over time. So take time to spend time with your kids and program them subconscious mind to be positive. So the second tip is to teach them these three basic life skills. First is to program their mind to be positive and have a positive attitude. So attitude is everything. Um, attitude will determine your altitude. You've probably heard that saying before. So um, we can't always control the things that happen to us, but we can control our attitude. So teaching our kids to be positive, have a positive attitude, will help them. So one of the things that we can teach our kids is to teach them to say positive things about themselves, help them to have more self-esteem, to be confident and program their mind to be positive. And as parents, we can reinforce that by encouraging them to be positive and saying positive things about them. So also monitoring the messages that they receive through music, social media, videos, the people they surround themselves with, hopefully is positive to help program their mind to be positive. Studies have shown that in one day, our kids can receive around 400 negative messages and only about 30 positive messages. So think about that. We can't control all the messages that our kids receive, but if we do our best to try to make sure they receive more positive messages than negative messages, it will have a profound impact overall in their life and how they feel about themselves and how they feel about others and encourage other people and in their community to make a difference. Next is to surround themselves with the right friends that will be there for them when they face adversity and to help them reach their goals. No one becomes successful by themselves. They need a team of the right friends. So friends are like an elevator. They can take you up or take you down. Hopefully your kids are surrounding themselves with the right friends that take them up and have success. We all know that life is tough, and no matter who we are, sooner or later we're going to face adversity, we're going to have bad days. And the question is, who are we surrounding ourselves with? Are those people going to help us, to push us to get through it? Or are those people going to make it worse because they're influencing us to make bad decisions? Don't just let anyone be your kid's friend. Make sure that they bring something positive to the table. Help your kids to be a better person or to accomplish their goals. If not, don't allow them to be around your kids. Uh, not to be mean or anything, but think about it. At the end of the day, your kids have to do what's best for them because when they grow up, their friends are not going to go to work for them and their friends are not going to pay their bills for them. So your kids have to do what's best for them. Um, no one reaches success by themselves. They have to surround themselves with the right team that's going to help them. Teamwork makes the dream work. And so, it's very true. Uh, the people you surround yourself with and your kids surround themselves with is going to help them to have success in their life. 
Last is to teach them about hard work. Studies have shown that kids who learn the value of hard work at a young age grow up to be more successful. So teaching your kids about hard work is critical for many reasons. Um, no one becomes successful, or at least truly successful, without hard work. It's just not possible. So teaching your kids about hard work is one of the most important lessons that you can teach them in their life. So when I was young, my dad, my uncle, my grandpa, they took me to work with them. My dad owned a landscaping company, construction company. And so I went to work with them at a young age. And long story short, when I was young, I really didn't like it. Fast forward to today, I'm thankful and grateful for my dad, my uncle, and my grandpa teaching me that valuable lesson about hard work. So I promise you, your kids may not like it when they're young, but I promise they'll thank you when they grow up. Um, you know, so just think about all the valuable lessons that they can learn. Hard work is one of the most important lessons you can teach your kids. So teach them to have a positive attitude, find the right friends, and hard work. If you don't spend quality time with them, then they will seek approval and connection from friends or outside influences. The third tip is never compare your child to their siblings or anyone else. If you do, they will resent it and could cause them to rebel. For example, don't tell them why can't you be more like your brother. Every child is unique in ability, and they are on their own journey. The last tip is don't reward them for getting the result you want, but reward them for doing the things that got them to the result. For example, don't reward them for getting good grades. Reward them for consistently doing their homework and putting in extra study time. If you have one child that is naturally smarter and easily gets good grades, then you have another child that works very hard but gets a C grade, that second child can get discouraged and give up. So thank you for supporting the channel. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, uh, go ahead and subscribe. Stay updated to more videos and tutorials that we have about boxing, expert advice about youth, helping parents and kids work together to give their kids a better opportunity for success in the future. Um, so, uh, till next time, much love and aloha.